You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. The Chicago Bears are down to these two players for the number nine overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. So, Bears fans, we are almost a whole week away from the start of the 2024 NFL Draft, and we have some big sources flying around the Chicago Bears right now. According to Tony Pauline, he says, sources say, if the Bears go pass catcher with the ninth pick, it will come down to Brock Bowers or receiver Roma Dunze. Bowers was in Chicago on Tuesday for an official 30 visit with the franchise and will be in Los Angeles to see the Chargers on Wednesday. Bears fans, we have been talking a whole lot about what the Chicago Bears will do with the number nine overall pick in the upcoming 2024 NFL draft. And we talked about every single scenario. Will they trade up? Will they trade down? Or will they stay put? But now, according to T Tony Pauline, sources are indicating that the Bears are looking to stay put at the number nine overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft and hope to either select Roma Dunze, receiver out of Washington, or tight end Brock Bowers out of Georgia. We have talked a whole lot about Roma Dunze. We already know the type of player that he would be. I think he would be a very special player alongside DJ Moore and Keenan Allen. He would definitely make this Chicago Bears offense more explosive. But Bears fans, Brock Bowers is also a very intriguing prospect in the 2024 NFL Draft. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about Brock Bowers because personally, I would absolutely love this move for the Chicago Bears offense. Brock Bowers is six foot four, 240 pounds, runs a 4-5-3, 40-yard dash, and in three seasons at Georgia, he had 175 catches, 2,541 receiving yards, 26 total touchdowns, and 14.5 yards per catch. And believe it or not, Bears fans, this pick would actually make a whole lot of sense for the Chicago Bears. Yes, I already know that we already have Cole Komet and Gerald Everett, but you have to understand Shane Waldron's offense. He loves running the 12 and 13 personnels and tight end sets, right? So you can never have enough great tight ends on your roster. And Brock Bowers would definitely be that for the Chicago Bears offense. And he would be a huge help for a new signal caller in Caleb Williams, almost like a safety blanket, right? And Bears fans, let me tell you something. Brock Bowers is definitely a top 10 player in this year's NFL draft class. He is probably one of the better tight ends we have seen in recent memory. And I think his game will translate very well in the National Football League. In my personal opinion, Bears fans, Brock Bowers is one of the most well-rounded tight end prospects to ever enter the National Football League. And when you really break down Brock Bowers' game, he is really a massive chess piece for an NFL offense. Bears fans, well, looking at some of the notes I have for Brock Bowers, he's, he's absolutely a perfect match for the Chicago Bears. His versatility allows him to be an elite pre-snap movement piece. Defenses have to account for a guy like Brock Bowers on every single play. He could be an impact player in the slot, out wide, and in line. I've even seen him at Georgia be used on jet sweep. And that is very rare for a tight end to actually be used in that way. So I think Shane Waldron would have a whole lot of fun with a guy like Brock Bowers within the Chicago Bears offense. Another thing that really stands out about Brock Bowers Bears fans is that he is an excellent blocker in the run game, very aggressive, and he's also a really good blocker in space. So when you add the versatility of how he can be in line or in the slot or out wide and his willingness as a blocker, that makes him even a more intriguing prospect for the Chicago Bears. He also has elite after the catch ability once again he does run a 4 5 3 40 yard dash so he is a pretty fast tight end prospect in 2023 he forced 18 missed tackles which was second in college football and averaged 8.7 yards after the catch which was also seventh in college football so with the football in his hands he is absolutely electric once again i think shane waldron can use a guy like Brock Bowers in many creative ways. And he just, it makes it a really intriguing option for the Chicago Bears at number nine overall. Lastly, Bears fans, Brock Bowers 
has some of the strongest hands you'll see in this year's draft class as a tight end prospect. He is a really sure-handed tight end. And once again, like I mentioned earlier on today's episode of Kick on the Mic, that it would be almost like a safety blanket for Caleb Williams. And that's something that you need for a young quarterback. You need a go-to guy. Obviously, you already have DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, right? Those are both sure-handed big targets for Caleb Williams to throw to. But now add in a guy like Brock Bowers in the mix and the different creative ways you can use him within the Chicago Bears offense. To me, Bears fans, I am absolutely sold. I talked about Brock Bowers a while ago and how I would be okay with the Chicago Bears drafting a guy like Brock Bowers at number nine. Um, I'm not sure if you guys would be on board for this, but I think it would be a pretty good pick for Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears at number nine overall. And once again, Bears fans, I understand this is not guaranteed to happen. I know we've been talking a lot about Roma Dunze at number nine. I know we've been talking a lot about a trade back at number nine for the Chicago Bears. I know we've even talked about trading up to maybe getting Malik Neighbors or Marvin Harrison Jr. But if you're able to stay put at number nine, and still get one of the best tight end prospects we've seen in a long time in Brock Bowers, a guy that can come in and help your offense right away, I think this would be an outstanding pick for Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears. So Bears fans, I am all on board for, for selecting Brock Bowers at number nine overall in the 2024 NFL Draft, and that's the route Ryan Poles and the Bears want to go in. So Bears fans, before I let you guys go, let me ask you guys this. If the Chicago Bears select Brock Bowers out of Georgia with the number nine overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, how would that make you feel? Let me know down below in the comment section. But as always, make sure you continue to hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, be back for our all new Bears podcast right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys. And as always, Bear down. You've been listening to Keek on the Mic, a podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Thanks, guys, and bear down. Hey.